Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A-Level Practice Paper C. Here we're working on question 7, a vectors question. So in the triangle ABC, A to B, so A to B is representing minus 3i, add 6j, and A to C is representing 10i minus 2j. Uh, Find the angle of BAC, so this angle here, uh, in degrees to one decimal place. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is if I'm looking to find this angle here, I could potentially work out this side length here, I could potentially work out this side length here, and I could potentially work out the vector and hence the side length there as well. So I'm going to need all three side lengths. So A to B is going to give me a side length of, well, if I treat this as a Pythagoras triangle like this, it's going to be left 3 up 6. So it's going to be 6 squared add 3 squared, which is going to equal um, 36 add 9. So that's the square root of 45. Uh, the length from A to C in a very similar way, Pythagoras triangle down to across 10. So the length in this one here is going to be the square root of 10 squared add 2 squared, which is going to be the square root of 104. And then we need the vector from B to C. So if we think here we need to go back along B and along C. So we need to go plus 3i. Let's go back along here, minus the 6j and then forward down here, so plus 10i, and then minus 2j. So adding all these bits together, we're going to get 13i uh, minus 8j. Okay, great. So what we now need is the length of the vector from b to c, nearly there. We're going to need a bit of... Um, right angle triangle stuff here, so we're going to be going right by 13, down by 8. So this is going to be the square root of 13 squared add 8 squared, which is going to equal 169 add 64, that's 233. Okay, great. So now that we've got all these sides here, now we can use the um, the cosine rule. Now remember the cosine rule is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. We need to rearrange it to get cos a. So cos a on its own. Okay, so what we need to do here is add the term to that side, take away the a squared, so that would be b squared plus c squared minus a squared, and then divide by the coefficient on the cos squared, so that would be divide by 2bc. Okay, so we have to label this side as A on the diagram, this side as B and this side C. B and C can be swapped around, that's not too worried. So cos of the angle BAC is going to equal B squared, so that's going to be this side squared, that was A to C, so that's going to be 104 square rooted squared, so that would just be 104. Add on uh, the side C squared, so that would be this side here, that would just be a 45. Take away A squared, so that would be take away 233. And divide by 2 times B, which was A to C, which is 104 square rooted, times C, which is the square root of 45. Okay. This will simplify to minus 7 over square root of 130. So cos minus 1 of minus 700, 7 over square root 130 is going to be equal 127.9 degrees. Okay, so a lot of maths was involved there, a lot of working out sides on triangles, but this is a classic problem of working out angles between triangles on vectors. Uh, if you know the vector, you can work out the length of the line, and if you can work out all three lengths of lines, then you can work out an angle by using this cosine rule here. This is a very standard question.
make sure you're comfortable with this. Okay, find the exact area of the triangle ABC. Well, it's not a right angle triangle, so the other formula that I know is half AB sine C. So we're going to slightly have to rearrange what A, B and C are here. C is the only angle that we know. So I'm going to have to refer to sine C <clears throat> as 127.9 or the answer button from your previous working. And then we'll need half. So if this is now angle C, then this must be side C. So these two here are A and B. So that's uh, square root of 45 and times square root of 104 uh, times by all of that and put that all into your calculator and you get um, find the exact value so make sure you've got all of this uh, to hand the answer comes out to be 27 units squared okay great uh, eight marks for that